still has some uh, PS2 stuff, but yeah, DK. Obviously, there's going to be a window. It's going to be around like 60 to 70 percent that a formidable, formidable DK player will always get that ding dong on this stage. But then, even at those higher percents, like the more I'm thinking about it, uh, he can go for like a cargo throw, run off stage, down throw, which will put Richter in like this like awkward position. Uh, which, you know, he's going to be forced to use, like, his double jump and then the, the tether. And YMCA can just kind of build a wall because the tether grab does have a telegraphed uh, recovery. Yeah, DK is one of those characters, like, you want to say he loses the matchup, but he could definitely do some stuff. Yeah. It just comes down to who gets that stage control. Right now we're seeing Nitro ledge trapping, doing his best. But only probably another 30% uh, with four Nitro's at the kill percent. Right. If he's able to hang on, and of course, they're right there. YMCA trying to abuse the armor, beat up a tilt, and tack on a little bit of damage himself, using a B reversal to land right behind YMCA. That was like a wave bounce, too, right? Yeah, it was. Like, he was already looking that way, and he, re he changed his momentum. So still on a first stock situation, definitely huge lead percent-wise, but we're getting close to Ding Dong percent. Ooh, Ooh nice down air. Okay, I think it grabs it. Kills. I think this is it. Yeah. Max Rage, 65%. This should be water. enough. Okay, good patience and waiting out that holy water. Oh, still living. 180. He's still gonna living. be able to grab the land. He shields. Oh. Okay. He shielded it too, but it still bounced off of his shield and then the holy water landed. Yeah, the holy water will always bounce off a shield. Oh, nice mash from Nitro, and I believe he buffered that mash because you have to be prepared to against DK. I thought he was going to get ding dong there, but great match from Nitro. It's going to net him some extra credit percent now, 45 already. Okay, but an up tilt, and that did catch the jump. Nitro using the down air to that make kills. it back to the stage. Oh, it did kill. Very nice. Definitely a buff from the uh, grounded Cyclone. He's going to tie off the stocks here, but Nitro running away with it right now. Uh, nice yeah, action to up B. He's going to grab the ledge as well. Very nice for Nitro. Up a full stock now. I've never seen that before. He hit him with a nice axe and, and kind of covered the jump with an up B. And, uh, I'm pretty sure okay. being a big body helps that conversion. Okay, see back here connected. Another down air for Nitro. Why having a lot of time or a lot of difficulty just approaching Nitro? Yeah, this stage is very good man. for DK because of the, you know, the, 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 the pseudo ding dong, like you said. But it seems like Nitro is very comfortable covering those platforms. Hasn't got ding dong yet, so. Sure, he's only lost his stock to, uh, you know, grounded up B. Oh, almost got away with going for that risky up air or up B. The wall of Ethos. This seems very rough for YMCA. Oh, that was crazy. Oh, he ended up frame trapping that. What a beautiful conversion from Nitro. Great stuff coming out from his Richter Belmont. I'm actually getting flashbacks, like PTSD, because the last time I competed in the Wednesday Night Fights, it was like over two months ago, and I made it into top eight. I got some good wins. I beat Rivals ESS. Ended up losing to Nitro in loser's bracket. And um, no, actually, I actually lost to him in winners. And, his, his Richter Belmont is definitely Richter. one of the most formidable Belmonts I've seen played against uh, out here at Oh, yeah, that's a word I would use to describe. Formidable. For sure. Formidable. And we're going to see the Wario switch coming out. And this is reminiscent to the Japanese DK player, Hikaru. And his backup character is Wario. Definitely a great backup to have. Yeah, he's going to have a little bit better area drift. Uh, and, of course, combo game being able to convert off Nair. And uh, up air, and then also having the the threat of walk is going to be uh, just a good play in, in this set. We could agree, Wario should be a little bit higher up on the tier list than DK, but we've really, we really only seen uh, this weekend. We've seen Sweet wins in tournaments with Warrior. But one of those characters. Now, we're not quite sure how good he is, but definitely got some stuff. But a charged faced forward smash. That was a max range forward smash coming out from Nitro. Sweet spot from mid stage. It was raw. And uh, that's going to give him the first stock. And I was thinking of Gluttony as well. Gluttony's the other Wario. Oh, We'd yeah. love to see Tweak and Gluttony's Wario, but who else is really doing it? And YMC is going to try his best to bring this one back. He's going to try to pick up this stock best way he can. Nice fight covering the shield on the, on the platform. Yep, using the using the bike as a great edge guard. Bike kills. Yeah. 
That was nice. It was a, on the way down. I guess it was strong. Okay, four up breaks. The up tilt, but ooh, not gonna be able to land the the up air as Nitro breaks out with an up B. Now retreating with projectiles and F tilts again. That Amari fix seems to be working out a lot better. Yeah, Nitro still seems to be in control. He still seems pretty comfortable. Um, but with a character like Warrior right now, being at the same stop means it's a pretty much a tie game. One conversion, weak up tilt. Ooh, he goes for the hard read on the roll in, but he's gonna roll away, Nitro. And now, you know, we see that pink glow coming from Mario. You know what that means. Walk is online. Nice, parry into up B, but great guy coming out from YMCA. Now with the stage control, it's the Nair. Let's see how he does here with the ledge trap. Maybe a down air coming out? Oh, he's gonna be patient in shield, but gets anti air by the back air with Nitro. Taking another stock advantage. Okay. Here comes the extra credit. Okay, slowly breaking up the damage on to YMCA. But he's hanging on to this Waff. Looks like he's trying to get rid of Nitro's second stock and then utilize Waff for, to win the game. That was a missed opportunity right there. The whiffed up B. You should have been able to maybe get a dash attack of her knees. Oh, and Nitro's not going to make that back. And uh, I was a little thirsty. You know, could have worked. Yeah, could have worked. Can we see punish come from YMCA? Remember, guys, this is the best of five here in Winter Semifinals. K9 waiting in Winter Finals. And YMCA tied up here with a good conversion. We all know the Waft is on deck because he hasn't used it all game. And you know, he's still got that glow going on. 35%. He just one or two hits. He can convert into Waft. You know, it's going to be GG. Nitro knows that too, so he's gonna do his best to space out with the whip. Use his first dash attack there, and here comes the lead trap. All player is gonna cover the high recovery. Very nice stuff from Nitro. And never a good feeling to know that you got red, and that was definitely a hard read coming from Nitro. And it sucks, it must suck playing a Wario match. Going to the last stock and never even inputting down B at one point. I'd rather whiff a down B halfway through the match than never get to use it. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of the reasoning, or that's one reason why, like, we see Gluttony going for, or Gluttony going for, like, half wafts. Yeah. Because they're, use it. they're a little bit less powerful. You know, they're not at full strength, but the way he utilizes them and can convert into them is what makes them such a threat. Even when you don't get the kill, too, because that's good damage, and, and it shows that you're not reliant on that crazy 30% waft kill, which I think is uh, kind of optimal in its, in, its, in its own way, just showing that you can get that good damage, you know? If you get that weak up tilt at, like, low percent into that waft, that half waft, that's, like, 60%, you know? You don't need to kill with it. Combo. But staying with the Wario here, YMCA not confident in the DK versus, uh, you know, Nitro or Richter Belmont matchup. Let's see how he can do in game three. Or are we going to see a 3-0 for Richter Belmont here? Nitro very formidable, as I said before. This guy is no joke. Richter Belmont is very frustrating if you don't know the matchup. That's right, but we see a forwarder landing and stuffing out the down air. Okay, taking on a little bit of damage, even getting a couple down tilts along the way. YMC is slowly bringing back the deficit, but oh no. Okay. Raising back air. Now, here come all the traps once again. I like that. Nitro forcing YMCA into a get up option. And he's reacting to the neutral get up, getting a grab, and now chucking more axes and crosses again. That just looked like torture. And then to finish it off with the angled up back air, that just goes to show that, that, that his prowess with the Richter Belmont. Any basic Richter Belmont can do back airs with the, 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 the tilted one, the ones that, uh, for me, show whether they're really practiced or not. Now Nitro, once again, we've seen it time and time again in this set with a slight lead. You know, he's up the stock, he's getting a little bit extra credit. And it seems to me like YMCA is just getting hit by everything. And now a downward angled back air. Very beautiful stuff from Nitro, showing you what the, the Richter, Richter Belmont's supposed to look like. The angled right. back airs. But he's kind of sort of letting Nitro just recover for free. Yes, he's getting the ledge traps, mm -hmm. but I mean, Nitro's at kill percent. He should really be, you know, trying to challenge those tether recoveries with an air, a forward air. Easier said than done. Nitro's on fire right now. Mimesy can't really catch a break. He did catch that holy water. <laughs> not able to utilize it. <laughs> he 
was looking like Nitro's gonna take this. Took, loses his first stock, but it's gonna take a miracle here for YMT. And not only bring this game back, but bring this set back. Oh, got the double hit with Nair. Dang, there's an up tilt and no up air conversion. But what, the down smash connected? <laughs> yeah, I was like, max range down smash, the back hit as well. Nitro's doing everything right now. Okay, there there's the waft. He gets the damage, okay. It's like you were saying, oh, you know, he's no. gotta, just gotta let it rip sometimes. He catches him with the boomerang. What's, what's the official name for the boomerang? The Holy Blade? What's the name for the boomerang? It's the Holy Blade or? The Holy Cross? Holy Cross, yeah. He catches him with the Holy Cross on the way back. Reacts off of it, gets the reverse up B. Nitro is gonna win that 3-0. And as you look at the bracket, you see 